hello guys uh, so this is the part three of this tutorial video so now before we go to the painting i want us to work on the height all right uh, duplicate the reference picture i want one to be below and the holder should be on top okay so i'm going to use this to make the detail all right i'll choose maybe the tool i'm using to sketch and then i'm going to use my guides i'll put it on ellipse all right and i'll set it to what is actually in the picture and then i'll draw it out right and i'll fill in black color i'll keep this i'll create another new layer below all right i want to put white color But before I do that, let me just make this a little bit darker. Then I'll just label this and then duplicate it. I label it because it is white color, so I will be able to know that there is something actually on the layer. All right, so I'll fill the one I duplicate, the one on top. I'll fill it with black color. I'll make sure it is properly, you know, uh, fixed. right now the next thing i'm going to do is to bring out the details in the highs all right i'm going to put my color on gray and then i'll draw the details i'm seeing right well before i continue with that let's make the high um, Cool. Okay, I will erase the part I don't need on this. And I can merge, merge this with the uh, sketch. Alright, let's put on this. Now, on the black color, I'm going to use soft eraser. And then I'm going to reduce it to maybe 12 or 13 to 15. Anything within that range. Okay, can you see this? Now let's leave it for now. And then let me go to the details I put here. Okay, this is better. All right, now I'm going to color. All right, so um, I'll create another new layer and then I'll try to fill this, uh, you know, yellow color into the earring. The color will be nice there.
Yes, so the earring is standing up. The next thing I want is uh, the cloth. So let me check the color that was actually used on the cloth. Okay, I would love to use blue. Um, blue will not actually be cool. But let's see, let's see, let's see if blue is going to work out. But actually, blue cannot be cool with dark skin. All right, so don't let us use blue. Let us let us color pick the color that was actually used. Right, so now let us give color to the skin also. But before we do that, I would love to select the colors we have picked and uh, used before so that uh, uh, my skin color will not showcase on there. Okay, now I will choose the magic hand, all right, so that it can work out, and also I'm going to choose. Um, the clothes color you can check my youtube videos for selection tool and how to use it i've made tutorials on that all right so i'm going to invert and then i have one favorite color i love to use which is this any other colors also can be used
yes guys so I have viewed the colors that are needed all right now the next thing I will do is to give my layers blend modes okay so we are starting from the color for the skin all right now I need to balance this you know just putting it on color is somehow awkward okay so well let me select this let me use my selection tool to select the color of the skin okay and then let me try to toggle with the picture Now I would like to start smudging. Okay. And what is the tool I'm going to use? This is the smudge round brush to brush. And here is my setting. Flow is on five. Strength is on seven. Okay.
So to smudge the earring, uh, you know, the second side earring, I have to select that place again also and then I will smudge it. Yes, so I'm done with the smudge of uh, smudging of the skin. Okay, so I'll move to hearing. Let's see what we have. I'll put it on color. Let me duplicate it and put it on soft light also. And now for me to smudge it, I'm going to use my selection tool also because I don't want it to have effect on the skin. Okay. So I want to smudge the cloth also, I'm still going to use the selection tool to select the color for the cloth. Alright, so that it's just like isolate, alright, you are the type that use maybe after effect or uh, even photoshop or adobe illustrator, there is something we call isolate, so this is what, that is the function of that on sketchbook. That is what we are using this selection tool to do so that if you isolate just that area but the only reason why it cannot be called isolate is because it's still showing other parts all right apart from that it's isolating only the area selected that is any effects will only take place on the areas selected okay Okay, now let's go back to the highs. You know, after smudging it, we have to go back to the highs because the highs is too, you know, just like lightning, and that should be corrected. All right, so I will color pick the lighter part of this picture and then I will lighten it up a little so that something can be in the highs and then it will not be so bright like that. Let's see the reference picture and let's see how bright it is. Okay. Right, I think we can still leave it for now, like that. Okay, so we are done with the smudging, and then let's come to the lips. We should apply color to the lips. I love to use a uh, lipstick red.
Yes, so after I'm done with that, the next thing I would love to do is uh, to actually remove the background of the picture before we give it highlight. Okay, so how do we remove the background? You select all the colors you have applied. Okay, let me select the one for the clothes also. Alright, so I will invert the selection and I will come to that peak. So the next thing I'm going to do is to erase it. Okay. Let me change the background color so that I can see how it is erasing it. Yes, so guys, this is a, a tutorial on how to smudge, but yes, this tutorial did, did not finish yet, okay? Uh, we still have some couple of things to do, and that will be in the next tutorial, where we'll be giving it highlight and then we'll balance the color in that uh, tutorial. Alright, thank you guys for watching.